All right, so much needed upgrade on the ascender. As you can see there, it is hanging. I broke the drive shaft. I did uh, solidify the rear by throwing in uh, one of my uh, empty drivers. I uh, cut out the piece or the length that I needed and inserted it into the drive shaft. I'll pull it out there so you can see what I'm talking about. If it ever focuses. But yeah, ultimately, you throw it into the center of that, which ultimately keeps it from crushing and snapping. You can see the hole better here. So, what ultimately you really need is a set of these MIPs. I run this on all my rigs. And once they're on, they don't come off. They don't break. They just work. <laughs> I do a lot of water runs, run in the winter, put these through hell, and they still come back for more. Let's see if we can focus on that. So this here is part 14295 MIP X-Duty CVDs for the Ascender. These are quite easy to build and set up. I'm gonna crack it open out of the package here so I can get a look at it before we throw them on. And these are very beefy. They have some weight to them. Alright, so there's the center of the yokes in there, the drive pins and the grub screws. Get that open there. Try not to lose any parts. Alright, so here we have the drive shaft itself, the two piece, the lower portion, the upper portion, and that's the uh, yoke that does uh, connect to the uh, trans, and that's the opposite side that goes into the bevel gear. This is the reason why you can just you can't just use a random set of these MIPs. You need this specific one here. Let's get you up and close so you can see. So this does not connect to the output shaft. This is the output shaft. So this goes directly into the trans and the bevel gear screws into the end of that. Alright. So now we get to the building process. I'm standing them up anyways. Get ready for the build. First off, we gotta get the the other section open, which has our thread lock and the grease, as well as our little instructions. Well, that's the tube I was talking about with the grease and the thread lock, some stickers. I might throw that on later. Oh, well, knife's a little bit sharp when I open that up. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get it up close. You guys get a look. Very simple. I will go through it on the video, but that's the layout of it. Alright. So, adjust the camera here, try to get in a little bit closer, play with the light, that looks pretty good, alright, so I'm going to build, so I'm going to throw the grub screw onto the driver, make sure we're ready, output shaft, or end of the yoke should I say, put the center of the yoke in, throw that onto the drive shaft and the drive pin goes through, if you tilt it to an angle there, you have the threading exposed for the grub screw, Thread lock on that, throw it in, and that's what holds that drive pin into place. That portion of CVD is done. Tighten it up once more. And do the same with the opposite side. Grease, and the grease honestly just helps hold that yoke there as well as protect it in the long run, but makes it easier to build with. A little dirty, but clean. Not clean, but easier to set up, should I say. So the drive pin's in there. Thread lock, grud screw, and now that's done. All right, we'll be back with the disassembly. All right, so we have the completed drive shafts. You see the front and the rear, the rear being a little bit longer. Now, I guess the hardest part of this <laughs> is taking this apart. So we have two screws on the diff cover at the bottom. Move the little brace. As I'm sure you can tell, the steering links are in the way. So we're going to have to get at that afterwards. Start it off here. Now, first things first, you get the wheel off. I'm trying to do this as intrusive or least intrusive possible. Be quick about it, should I say. So, got the wheel off. It'll give us access to the steering link. You need to get the body off for this. Alright, so 
a screw, need a pair of pliers to hold nut at the bottom. All right, and now with that off, we have access to the upper diff cover screws. One's almost out, and now the other one. So now we can see the, the diff or the spool, whatever you want to call that. It's locked, so I guess not really a diff. Now we have two uh, countersunk screws up on the C-hub. All right, almost forgot. Once we release the pan hard bar here, we'll be able to pull that out, which is going to remove the uh, axle shaft from the diff. And need to mirror the same for the bottom. Get those two screws out of the way. And now we're good to pull out the diff. Which will give us access to the bevel gear behind it that is connected into the old broken drive shaft. So you remove the screw. Everything comes apart. It's gone. As you can tell, the bevel and the screw, that's all we have in there. So now I'm going to throw the uh, MIP in there. It has a square shaft that's going to screw right in or lock into place, should I say, into the bevel once you're set up there. Tighten the screw, and you're done with that. Now I'm going to move up to the upper portion of the drive shaft. So we have two uh, set screws that are holding that into the trans. Let's see if we can get at that from here. Yeah, all right. So from this side, we have access to one of the grub screws. Get that out of the way. Move the truck around so we can get to the other one here. Uh, just turn it easier. <laughs> All right, so old drive shafts out. Ready to screw in the new one here. I'm just going to push that back over where the output shaft of the trans was, or is, should I say, where the other drive shaft was. Turn everything to light onto the flat spot of the output shafts. Throw in your grub screw. And it's done. So mirror everything, rinse, ladder, repeat for the rear, and we're done. Show you the finished product. All right, it was done. Not a big, big upgrade, but well worth it on the trails. Say it took me about an hour or so. And again, only because that connects directly into the trans, or not the trans, but the axle. If not, that would be a quick fix. But now we don't have to worry about it. everything around it will break other than the drive shaft. So we'll leave you with that, guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.